Uh, next question is interpreting uh, logit or probit coefficients. Um, so the short answer, so I was wondering if you can help me better understand how to interpret the model's coefficients when using a binomial or logit or probit link functions. I noticed in the hospital readmissions task eight solution, you were able to code this up in our studio. When reviewing the SOA solution, they made a comment that this can also be done in Excel. See below of the SOA's coefficients for the probit link function, as well as their interpretation table. Can you give me an example of how this would be done in Excel for both the logit and the probit link functions? Uh, yes. Um, so I did go through this in Excel. Um, and, and the way it works is for a GLM, you know, you, you have the mean of this response, which is uh, related to the, the, um, the linear predictor, which is the product of all the um, coefficients times the, uh, the variables. And that's uh, related by a link function. And so for like logit, you have the log odds. And so you need to inverse that function. And for probit, that's a, um, an inverse standard normal or, or Gaussian CDF. And so you just invert that by using the Gaussian CDF. And so in Excel, um, it would look like this. So uh, you, you, you need to have a single observation. So like, let's say you're predicting um, a, a, a specific person, whether or not they'll be readmitted. And so these are the coefficients. And then these are the values. And then the linear predictor is the product, the sum product of these. And then the survival probability is e to the z over 1 plus e to the z. And then for the probit link, you can use this norm.dist function in Excel. Just be careful that you use this uh, true statement at the end, which uses a, uh, a cumulative distribution as opposed to the, like the PDF. So it uses the CDF as opposed to the PDF. Um, now, I wasn't actually able to match these values exactly here, like 0 0.09855. Uh, I really couldn't figure that out. I spent like 20 minutes uh, looking at it. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, I, I would just reproduce the SOA's code again, but it's, it's from an old exam from like 2019. And so um, I need to update my version of R before I can do that. But um, on your exam, you shouldn't have that difficulty. It is just a simple formula. It's just that e to the x over 1 plus e to the x to go from logit. And then uh, the, the, the norm.dist function for the probit. 